Hello everyone. Welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn Class 7, Semester 2, Chapter 1, Ratio and Proportion, Exercise 1.3, Fifth Sum onwards. See now, question number 5. A person has money to buy 8 bicycles of worth 4,500 rupees each. If the cost of the bicycle is decreased by 500 rupees, then how many bicycles can he buy with the amount he has? Let us see the solution. If the cost of a bicycle decreases, the number of bicycles to buy increases in the same proportion. Observing this question, here cost of the bicycle First it is 4,500 rupees. Later they have decreased the amount on each bicycle 500 rupees. So here cost of the bicycle is decreasing. So the number of bicycles he can buy increases in the same proportion. So the cost of bicycles and number of bicycles are in inverse proportion. Let the number of bicycles he can buy be x. Now let us see the inverse proportion now. See in this table form we have taken cost of each bicycle and number of bicycles. If the cost of each bicycle is 4500 rupees, he wants to buy 8 bicycles with the amount he had. If cost of each bicycle is 500 rupees reduced, that is each bicycle cost now 4000 rupees, then how many bicycles he can buy with the amount he had, we are going to find here. Observe this table, here cost of each bicycle is going to decrease, so the number of bicycles he can buy increases. By taking inverse proportion, 4500 is to 4000 is equal to x is to 8. We know product of means is equal to product of extremes. So 4000 into x is equal to 4500 into 8. That implies x is equal to 4500 into 8 by here 4000 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by so x value is equal to 4500 into 8 by 4000 8 table 8 ones are 8 8 table 500 times 4000 500 table 1 time is 500 and 9 times is 4500 Therefore, x value is 9. Therefore, he can buy 9 bicycles with the amount he had. See now question number 6. Two pumps are required to fill a tank in one hour. How many pumps of the same type are used to fill the tank in 24 minutes? Let us see the solution. If the time to fill a tank decreases, the number of pumps required to fill a tank increases in the same proportion. Let us observe in the equation. To fill a tank in 1 hour, 2 pumps are required. To fill a tank in 24 minutes, how many pumps are required we have to find. See here, time is going to decrease. Then the number of pumps required to fill the tank increases. So, time taken to fill a tank and number of pumps required are in inverse proportion. Let the number of pumps required to fill the tank be x. See, in this table form we have taken time taken and number of pumps. To fill a tank in 1 hour, that is 16 minutes, 2 pumps are required. To fill a tank in 24 minutes, how many pumps are required we are going to find. By taking inverse proportion, 60 is to 24 is equal to x is to 2. We know product of means is equal to product of extremes. So 24 into x is equal to 60 into 2. That implies x equal to 60 into 2 by 24. 2 table 2 ones are 2. 2 table 12 times 24. Now 12 table 12 ones are 12. 12 fives are 60. That implies x equal to multiply numerator 5 into 1 that is 5. Therefore x value is equal to 5. Therefore 5 pumps of the same type are used to fill the tank in 24 minutes. 
See now question number 7. 18 men can reap a field in 10 days. For reaping the same field in 6 days, how many more men are required? Let us see the solution. If number of days required to reap a field decreases, number of men required to work increases in the same proportion. Observe in the question. Here number of days required to reap a field from 10 days to it decreases to 6 days. So number of men required to work in the field increases. So number of days required and number of men required are in inverse proportion. Let the number of men required to complete the work be x. See the table now. Number of days and number of men we have taken. To reap a field in 10 days, 18 men were required. To reap a field in 6 days, how many men are required? We are going to find now. By taking inverse proportion, 10 is to 6 is equal to x is to 18. We know product of means is equal to product of extremes. Then 6 into x is equal to 10 into 18. That implies x equal to 10 into 18 by 6. 6 table 6 ones are 6. 6 threes are 18. That implies x equal to multiply numerators 10 into 3. That is 10 threes are 30. Therefore x value is 30. Therefore 30 men were required to reap a field in 6 days. See now question number 8. 1200 soldiers in a check post had enough food for 28 days. After 4 days, some soldiers were transferred to other check posts and thus remaining food is sufficient for 32 more days. How many soldiers left the check post? Let us see the solution. If number of days food loss for soldiers increases, then the number of soldiers in a check post decreases in the same proportion. So, Number of days, food loss and number of soldiers in the check post are in inverse proportion. Let the number of soldiers left after 4 days in the check post be x. In the question, for 1200 soldiers, the food lasts for 28 days. After 4 days, some of the soldiers went to another check post. Now, after 4 days for 1200 soldiers, the food would last 28 minus 4, that is 24 days. Therefore, for 1200 soldiers, food lasts for 24 days. If the food lasts for 32 more days, number of soldiers we need to find, that is 1200 minus x we have taken. That is from 1200 if we subtract the number of soldiers who left the check post, we will get the value. So here we have taken 1200 minus x. If we observe this table, here number of days increases. So number of soldiers decreases. By taking inverse proportion, 32 is to 24 is equal to 1200 is to 1200 minus x. We know Product of means is equal to product of extremes. Then 24 into 1200 is equal to 32 into 1200 minus x. That implies 24 into 1200 is equal to 32 into 1200 minus 32 into x that is 32x. That implies here minus value on transposing becomes plus value and this plus value on transposing it becomes minus value. So, 32x is equal to 32 into 1200 minus 24 into 1200. That implies 32x is equal to, here in both terms, 1200 is common. So, 1200 written outside into 32 minus 24. That implies x equal to 1200 into 32 minus 24, that is 8, by 32. 8 table 8 ones are 8. 8 fours are 32. Now 4 table 4 ones are 4. 4 table 300 times 1200. Therefore x value is 300. Therefore 300 soldiers were left the check post after the 4 days. 
and 1200 minus x value 300 if you subtract 900 you will get therefore 900 soldiers the food lasts for 32 more days today we have seen class 7 semester 2 chapter 1 ratio and proportions exercise 1.3 5 to 8 sums by this we have completed our exercise 1.3 Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.